All right, I want to draw you guys attention to this right here. This was a video that was uploaded on Sky Sports Boxing a few days ago. Fraser Clark meeting Lennox Lewis. They had a very interesting chat. They did a little bit of pads. They had a conversation about boxing technique and talked a little bit about Fraser Clark's upcoming rematch with Fabio Wardley. Lennox Lewis gave a really good insight into the mindset of a top level elite heavyweight. And also he pointed out some of the subtleties that he implemented and he had in his game when he was fighting back in the 90s and very early 2000s. And at the top level in boxing, it's all about tiny margins. The littlest thing can make the biggest difference. I know it sounds cliche, but it's actually true. Fraser Clark is literally like the student there, listening to everything Lennox is telling him. I mean, one of the first things Lennox talks about is how to deal with criticism and so on. And he rightly pointed out that he was criticized nonstop. I said this in recent videos because Anthony Joshua apparently doesn't believe he's got the credit that he deserves. Well, he hasn't been criticized as much as Lennox Lewis was criticized during his career. Okay, so you can't worry too much about not getting the credit you deserve, so on and so forth. Lewis was criticized non-stop, month in, month out in all the major boxing publications. It was very American-centric back then. There was only really boxing news and uh, boxing monthly in the UK. The Americans had multiple publications and they were pretty much trashing Lennox Lewis in damn near every edition for years and years and years. So um, yeah, Lewis talked about how you have to believe in yourself and you basically have to be egotistical, arrogant. When all of these people are saying you're rubbish and you got no chin and you're a horizontal heavyweight and you got no left hook and all the things they used to say about Lennox Lewis, how do you not allow that stuff to get to you? Your ego has to be bigger than the criticism. Now, a lot of fans, they like to talk about humble fighters. Oh, I like this guy, he's so humble, he's so down to earth, this, that, and the other. Let me tell you something, at the top level, nobody's humble. They might try to come across as humble because it's good PR, they understand that a lot of fans like it, but deep down inside, they have a massive ego, at least as it relates to their boxing ability. They have to. You have to have intense, incredible self-belief beyond that of a normal human in order to make it at a top level in boxing. So Lewis talks about that. He shows Fraser Clark certain techniques, how to throw the jab in a particular way, how to disguise your punches, you know, to have a bit of motion and movement in your body before you throw your shots because it helps to disguise them. You know, if you are completely still like a statue and you're looking to lead off, then any little tell, any little bit of motion in your body before you throw the punch will be easily picked up by your opponent. But if your body's constantly moving, you're moving your shoulders, you're moving your, you know, hands up and down here and there, not like massively, but you know, if there's a little bit of movement, a bit of a bounce in your step, then it becomes more difficult for your opponent to recognize or see the tells because there's lots of moving parts then. That's one of the secrets with Alexander Usyk because he's constantly moving, he's perpetual motion, particularly a couple years ago, you know, like in the first AJ fight, non-stop head movement, non-stop foot movement, moving his hands, changing levels. And when all this is going on, you're trying to concentrate on what he's doing offensively and defensively. Yeah, there's a lot to concentrate on. And that's when he comes out with punches that you don't expect and he catches you. That's one of the secrets to Usyk. So yeah, Lennox Lewis was just showing Fraser Clark certain tricks and techniques and what have you. And I thought it was a very interesting video. So I highly recommend it. It's on Sky Sports Boxing YouTube channel.